that's my girl. We're going fishing again today. We got the four again. We're going to try our luck. And luck is on our side already. One, uh, Katie. Did not bring bananas. That's right. That's right. And we come up to the gate and the computers are down. Bad luck for them. But he said, just go on through. And, uh, Six dollars richer. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading back out to uh, the west Aside? parking. West parking again, and this time we're going to take a, a left and go down uh, a little bit further from the fort where we were before, and uh, we are actually going to see uh, if we can get something today. Arriving at destination. Oh yeah, there's some. I see the bait on top of the water right now. Keeping it simple. I just bought some pompano rigs. So you get these from Walmart. Already rigged up for you. And uh They're a couple of dollars. All you gotta do is add your weight, either as like a two to four ounce weight. And with this current right now, I just would probably just put a two, two ounce weight right here. And then I put my shrimp or whatever you wanna put on here and toss it out. So we're gonna actually load them up with some shrimp. Got my PVC pole holders out. I already see fish jumping out there. There's a lot of bait fish right here. So we'll see if we can uh, catch anything right here. That's what we're going to be doing today, dishing it out. So I'm going to put a little fish bite on here on the end. Huh? I'm going to put a little fish bite on the end. Okay. Uh, just in case uh, something comes along and steals a shrimp, there'll still be something on there. Okay. Put a little fish bite. Still a little jigging out here. See if there's any flounder hanging out on the shoreline. Let me see if it'll swallow it. It's got some tension on the line. I'm thinking it's a, it's a crab. So like as it's uh, as that jig's going up and down, some of those bigger crabs will grab it with their claw. not pulling it like a crab. She's holding it. It's got like that line is really kind of real tight. What about another 15 seconds? Set that hook. Let's see if we can set the hook. Here we go, setting the hook. We got us a flounder. Oh yeah. Look here. Oh yeah, we got us one. That's what I'm talking about. Just up and down, be patient. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> My baby's like, yes, let's see how, we've got to measure this thing out. Yeah? Is that big enough, you think? Yeah, yeah, that's big enough. Twelve. Oh my god, I want to fish now. Just doing that jigging. Uh, this is for Aaron. Wait, let's get you. I can pull this picture off here. Yeah. Here, right? Yeah. Nice size. Let me pull it up. Yeah, that. Finger off. Be careful. Yeah. Let me measure this thing. Oh, he's pretty though. Yeah, he is. Let's go. All right, let's measure this bad boy. Oh, he's like. Hold up, hold that thought. He's like what? He's like 15 and a half. Dang, babe. Hold up. All right, I want to know where you were when you did that, so I can go over there and do it because okay. he probably has friends. Yeah, I'm sure he does. So just past the rocks? Uh, right in the middle of the rocks. Yeah, if you want to go over there and start jigging while well, I get this guy, uh, yeah. take it over there. Like I said, like I was doing, just throw it out there and jig it, like do the pole jigging. You like, okay. just reel it in slowly. Just keep reeling it in and jig, jig it in. Just a little bit, do like one area, then move down a little bit and keep doing it. Oh yeah, he there. took it. Yeah, there was a couple times I felt like something took it, and then I sat there. I sat there a minute and you were like, before I set the hook. You thought, oh, it's a crab. Yeah, but once I got it, yeah, that time it was At like. At first, do the nibbles feel like crab? Does it feel kind of it like feels crab? like it takes it, and then I just, sometimes you have to wait until it. Uh, He's like, I don't know. This might be a fishing line. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. You want to take a picture once I get the hook out? Yeah. Alright, hook's out. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fifteen and a half. Hold it up, baby. Mm. Let me see. Look at them choppers. Choppers. Oh, baby, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm just going in the cooler. So I'm jumping out there, and she got something. She got something. What'd you get, baby? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. In, bring it. Bring it. Bring it in. Oh, it's another one. Oh, you got two. two. Holy cow! You got two. Two something. You know what that is? Spanish mackerel. Are you serious? Yeah, you got two Spanish mackerel. Oh my God, I look. Can I Holy cow! Can I two Spanish. Yeah, two Spanish mackerel. Holy cow! Where are they? Where are they? Where they go? Right there. Are they gone? Just throw it out there again. Two Spanish mackerel. How about that? Let me get a picture of that, baby. Huh? No, you can keep those. You cook them. Yep, got two Spanish mackerel. Where'd it go, baby? Two for you got two for one. Where's your Where's your phone? I got my phone. Here, come on. Let me get a picture of you.
You got a twofer. I'm serious. No, baby, they're not. I'm serious. Do they taste good? Here, bring them up. Hold them up. Hey, guys. Oh, they got teeth. Yeah, they got teeth. Hold them up. You ready? Cheese. Let me, uh... They were chasing the bait fish, yeah. That's how you got them. Cause I threw them out, I threw mine out as soon as uh, you threw yours out. But you, I mean, you got them. Yes, yeah. yeah, they said they had some Spanish mackerel out here. I'm like, what? Good job, baby. I don't know anything about these fish. I've Look never it up. seen one before in my life. Look it up. Spanish mackerel. Like to eat? Or just the size? Or uh, I know you can eat them. Huh? For Spanish mackerel? Yeah. They're like 13 and 13. Or actually, to the tip of the tail, it's to the tip of the tail. It's like 15. Yeah. You're good. Is that what I said? Spanish mackerel, an especially good eating fin fish, produces an attractive plate sized cutlet or an essentially boneless fillet. Mackerel can be fried, baked, poached, grilled, marinated, smoked, or barbecued. It is considered by some to be the best barbecue fish in the South Pacific. What? what? Go, girl. Said it's a really fish huh? They what? It Who? It should Spanish mackerel should be eaten on the day of capture. Mackerel preservation is not simple. Well, we're gonna cook it when we get home. Yeah. Right. Whew. Hope y'all enjoyed today with us today. I know uh, we enjoyed the day. Um, I got the flounder. She got the double hookup on the Spanish mackerel. And uh, we're gonna go home and uh, flay them up and uh, cook them uh, for dinner tonight. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. And uh, if y'all did, please like and subscribe.